The International Awards Program actually began in 2001. The university had a number of international students here, but we wanted to ensure that we would allow for a few students to come to UBC who could not afford our international fees. There are many universities in Canada which do offer financial assistance to international students of one form or another. What's unique about the University of British Columbia's awards program is just its sheer size. Students are given an opportunity to come here to take the education that we offer, but it isn't just for themselves, and that's kind of the vision of the International Leader of Tomorrow, is that there's a sense of giving back, and there's a sense of contributing, there's a sense of engagement. I've always been still very much drawn back to the country where I'm from, and it's that, that's the Philippines. One of the reasons I was initially very excited to attend UBC is because of the numerous opportunities it provides specifically for undergraduates to do research. For me, coming to UBC was, was not about uh, making something out of nothing. It was about equipping me, equipping me to be able to do that. What we're looking for when we have students nominated for the award is a student who has the potential for leadership. I kind of call it servant leadership, but it's a student who um, we believe will be able to make a difference. I believe the award program itself is actually facilitating the creation of a community of leaders. I just think it's fascinating what one person can do when they're motivated towards something. Mm -hmm. And I've seen that here, and I see it all the time with people that are my age. What UBC gives you is not, um, it doesn't give you sort of a a shovel or a pen and says go out and do something. It gives you sort of um, it's like it, it's like it gives you the, the soil, a, a garden, and it and tells you go ahead, play. What we're able to do, the students are nominated for this award and the selection committee comes to me and says here's the 20 students that we um, would like to give the award to. That is not saying that this is a gift we are going to give a student. This is not a reward for what they've already done. What it is is a statement of belief. We're saying to that student, we believe in you as a university. We believe you will be able to take advantage of all of the opportunities the university can give you, overcome the challenges that you are inevitably going to face, um, and be able to take what you learn here and apply it in a way that will make a difference. My vision is to contribute to global health, specifically by contributing to cancer care around the world, both through providing care to patients directly impacted by cancer, as well as by doing research that will one day lead to the development of new treatments. I grew up in Tanzania where we used to have power problems every single day, and to me at that time, it seemed like it's quite a normal way of life. It was only after, you know, through the ILOT program that I came to UBC and realized that a country is not supposed to be having power outages. And um, that actually provided me with first the realization that, you know, there is a challenge, there is an issue in my own country. And at the same time, it provided me with a platform to address that challenge. It provided me with the means to come up with a transformative uh, idea that we, can, that we can now take back to our country and actually implement. The International Leaders of Tomorrow and our International Humanitarian Award winners are really the flagship, or the flag bearers of global citizenship. We need that here as a university. We need to hear those voices. And the International Leaders of Tomorrow are eloquent in expressing their views and sharing those perspectives with us.